Uh oh, CD. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Michelle. So today I have a fun video for you guys. This is my Valentine's Day video. I decided to post this a couple days early just in case any of you guys like this idea and want to go out and get this for your Valentine's Day. But today I have a chocolate fondue. I got this cute little fondue pot set at Target. And then I have all these fun things to dip in. I've got my melted chocolate here. Yum! And then I also went to Dunkin' Donuts because right now they have a bunch of really cute Valentine's Day heart stuff. So I got two donuts. I think they said it was cream filled. Got that one. Oh, I love these. And I also got an iced coffee, which I've been drinking this and I don't really like it. It's super, super weak. This is only with one cream and one sugar in it. It's so weak, like it tastes like water with a little bit of coffee flavoring. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this, but this is gonna be a story time video. So if you guys don't like talking, you're not gonna like this. You probably won't like my channel in general if you don't like talking, cause I talk way too much. But in this one, I do have a story to tell you guys. Uh, because this is Valentine's Day, I thought it would be appropriate to tell you guys about the worst date I've ever had in my entire life. And I was actually going to do a different story time for this video, but I literally just went on this date last weekend. So I feel like I want to tell you guys while it's still fresh and in my brain. But first, let's get this going. So there's a little candle down in there, and it actually is super, super hot already. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to blow it out because I'm afraid it's going to burn the chocolate. It's smoking up everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to add my chocolate into my fondue pot. This is just a bag of dark chocolate with some milk to make it a little bit smoother. I'm making a mess, as per usual. So I have all these fun dippers. I have cream puffs marshmallows, potato chips. You guys know I love chocolate covered potato chips. They're so good, you guys should try them. Strawberries, Rice Krispie treats, and some pretzels. I love the salty and sweet. And we got our two donuts. We got our iced coffee that is not super good. Nope. So this fondue pot came with four little fondue forks because fondue is supposed to be a fun social activity. And here I am in my room enjoying it by myself, whatever. <laughs> so here's a little fondue fork to stab things with. Cream puff. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this chocolate is the perfect texture right now. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so glad I have a tablecloth. <laughs> oh geez, this is gonna fall all over my face. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Got this one. Let's try it. Mmm. The top is like strawberry flavored, and then there's cream on the inside. That's really good. Let's try this one. Mm. This is my favorite donut, oh my god. Raspberry filling with chocolate topping is my favorite donut. Mm. This is a mess. I'm sorry. I forgot to bring napkins. Mmm. Mmm. This one's really good. I've already destroyed this plate and we've only just begun. <laughs> They're only like $1.25 each donut or something super cheap. 
This would be super cute to give someone who is your Valentine. Hmm. I want to get on to this stuff. I want to get on to my story time. So, where should we begin? Oh my gosh, I love donuts, but they're so like sweet and filling. They kind of make you feel like, Ugh. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how much of this I can get through. I'm gonna try a potato chip. Oh my god, yes. Potato chips with chocolate is probably the best dipper. I'm gonna do pretzel. Mmm! Classic combo. Let's do Rice Krispie Treat. Super sweet. I like the saltier things, but that was really good too. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Mm. This is so fun. It's definitely more fun if you have people with you doing this. <laughs> But I'm enjoying myself by myself too. All right, so I'm gonna start with my story time now. The worst date I've ever been on, which happened to be like less than a week ago. So where do I be in? I've been single now for three or four years now. It's been a long time. And every single person I've dated in that span have all been from like online and apps and stuff like that. Like I just don't really go out very much. I don't really have that much of a social life so I don't really meet guys at bars or anything like that. And I also, I don't like going on dates with people that I work with so I just don't really go out on dates <laughs> unless it's some like random, you know, person that I've found on an app or something. I haven't met anyone from like an app like Tinder or Bumble or anything in almost a year. I just don't really like using them. Uh, so I don't know what the point of me telling you guys that other than I don't really go out very much. <laughs> so I was at a job last week. If you guys don't know, I do like acting kind of stuff. So the jobs kind of change all the time. But I was at a commercial job. There's only me and four other people that were like the actors. I don't like calling myself that because I don't feel like I am the principal talent. And then the rest of the people there were just like crew guys. So it was a pretty small group of people. Anytime you go to a job like that, there's always someone there who's kind of like your handler. So he's gonna be the one that checks you in, gives you your paperwork, tells you where to go, tells you when you need to be on set and like all that kind of stuff. So the guy that was our handler, it was me and the four other people. Uh, The guy who was our handler, I didn't really think anything of him because I didn't really talk to him that much. He was kind of just addressing all of us as a group the entire day. We were all hanging out as a group the entire day. We were eating lunch together. Like, I didn't really talk to him one-on-one -on -one at all. Um, mm, chocolate dipped strawberry. Yes! These strawberries that I got from Trader Joe's actually kind of suck. But hopefully they're not too sour. Mmm. I can't fully tell if I've gotten it all off, so hopefully I did. So the guy who was our handler, I didn't really talk to him. I didn't think anything of him. And then at the end of the, <laughs> at the, end of the day, he asked me out on a date, which I was really surprised about because again, I don't really get asked out on dates, period. But I definitely don't ever get asked out on dates like in person. I don't know, people, guys just don't ask me out in real life. Like they'll maybe do it through text or through online, Facebook message or something. But I think in the last like 
four years that I've been single, I've maybe been asked out twice in real life. So I was like really surprised that he was asking me out, but also because I hadn't really like talked to him that much personally. But because it was kind of like surprising, I was just like, oh yeah, sure, of course, whatever. Uh, and he was like, okay, great. And then we ended up exchanging our numbers. Cream puff. Mmm, those are really good. I need to make sure the chocolate doesn't burn at the bottom. My favorite are the chips. So, okay, I'm taking way too long to tell the story. So we exchange numbers. We end up planning a date for this past weekend. And, oh my god, it's just like a mess from the beginning of the date. So me and this guy don't live very close to each other. We live about an hour away from each other. Actually, even more than that. Probably like closer to like an hour and a half away from each other. So we had agreed to meet somewhere halfway. So it was going to be about like a 40 minute drive for each of us to meet halfway. So we had agreed to meet at 8 p.m. I left pretty early because I don't like being late on first dates. You never know like what the other person's like pet peeves are. So I, at least on the first date, I try and be relatively early or on time. So I left at like seven and I ended up getting there around like 7.40ish. I'm just waiting in my car because we're supposed to meet up at eight. And I get a text from this guy at literally 7.50. This is 10 minutes before we're supposed to meet. And he tells me, hey, can we push the date to 9 p.m. because there's a lot of traffic around the area that I live in. It's 10 minutes before our date and he clearly has not even left his place yet. I'm outside of the restaurant waiting in my car <laughs> already. So I'm just like, I got that text and I'm just like, I had no idea what to say because obviously he hasn't even left his place yet. He's still like 40 minutes away. So I'm just like, okay. So I tell him, I was like, yeah, 9 p.m. is fine. Like, I didn't know what else to say. Like, I was already there. I didn't want to drive all the way back home. Why would you text me 10 minutes before the date to push it an hour later? Like, wouldn't you assume that I was already on my way or there? I don't know. I thought maybe there was like a misunderstanding or something. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I was already there. So I was like, sure. So I end up having to wait in my car for over an hour before he finally texts me that he's come by. I don't know, most people, what would you guys have done? Would you guys have just been like, F you and then left? Or been like, I don't know. Like, what other option was there other than to either wait or just been like, uh, screw you, bye. I don't know. So, he finally rolls in at 9 o'clock. And we meet up. It was just so weird. Like, from the very beginning that we sat down, when you're first meeting someone, like you're, you know, it's a lot of it is like, kind of like boring small talk you're kind of asking the other person what they're into you know where you know what they do blah 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 and we would he and i would be having like some basic conversations and he would be so rude and so condescending to me about everything like he was talking about how he like really likes doing marathons and running and stuff so I told him, I was like, oh, like, do you have to train for your marathons? You know, just trying to make small talk. Like, I don't particularly care about marathons, but now he clearly enjoys it. So I want him to expand on what he's talking about. He was like, uh, yeah, do you know what a marathon is? And that was probably within the first, like, 10 minutes of us sitting down. And I was like, oh, no, this guy's a freaking douchebag and he doesn't even know it. Hmm. So it was just, like, stuff like that over and over like i would say something and he was just talking to me like i was a freaking idiot which i couldn't understand it, it just like it looked like he wanted to be anywhere but there which made no sense because he was the one that asked me out it was also so ridiculous because like i don't know if he did this on purpose to try and to try and like make himself seem desirable or something 
he had left his phone facing up on the table and I could see on his phone it was like right next to my plate throughout the whole night he was getting a ton of not just text messages but I could see he was getting tinder notifications and he was getting bumble notifications so it would be like you have a new match you have a new message and I would be talking to him and I could see his eyes kind of trail down and stare at his phone when he would get the notifications and I could just tell that he was not listening <laughs> to me talk and the dinner ended up being like two hours long so literally the whole night I'm dealing with him being a complete a-hole to me and also me looking at his phone and seeing that he has like 50 new tinder matches you know <laughs> when you're getting to know someone like you don't really know what offends them you don't really know what their sense of humor is so you never know if something you've said has turned them off so the whole time i was thinking like okay the whole reason he's being so rude to me is because he doesn't like me or maybe i said something that was offensive to him or you know i don't know the whole time i'm just like okay he clearly doesn't like me whatever the state can be over and we won't talk again it got so bright in here I'm trying not to cut out me chewing because it bothers some people but I chew and eat so slow that's kind of why my videos are cut so much in case people are curious is because I really eat freakishly slow like if I were to leave this unedited it would probably be an hour long just because how long it takes me to chew <laughs> so finally it's like the last like five ten minutes of our day our plates have been cleared the tables cleared uh we were waiting on the check i think and suddenly it's like his personality totally changed he went from like being he was like constantly like looking around at some points he had his arms crossed like you know talking to me and like <sighs> like sighing while he was talking to me like he wanted to shoot himself <laughs> so finally the last five minutes it's like he totally it's like a, a switch flipped in his brain he was trying to hold my hand over the table he was telling me like he's so glad that we went out like he feels like we have so much in common like all this stuff and i'm just like mind blown because for the last two hours i've been thinking this guy hates my guts and now all of a sudden he's being all like lovey-dovey. I'm just like, yeah, totally, me too. You know, wow, this is great. And then we leave the restaurant. He walks me to my car. <laughs> I went in to give him a hug and he tried giving me a kiss and I totally did the like head, the head swipe. <laughs> the avoid the kiss move. And um, I started laughing so that he thought it was like a joke, but I definitely did not want to kiss him. He was like, I'd love to get together again. I was like, yeah, totally, sure. And that was that, but it was so shitty. I couldn't believe like, I don't know. I've never been on a date with someone who asked me out who like acted like they wanted to die while they were with me. So I don't know. It was really bad. And I'm really hoping he works in like crew stuff. So I'm really hoping I don't see him at other jobs because uh, he did ask me out through text again, but I texted him and told him I actually was straightforward with him. And I told him that I was not interested and that I didn't think we had enough in common or some BS I told him but uh, yeah so that was my worst day ever and I am more than satisfied being forever alone if it means not having to go on dates like that again so yeah I'm sorry my camera's dying I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day I hope you share it with someone special and if you don't I hope you share it with a special bowl of chocolate all by yourself because that's even better god I have so much stuff left <laughs> Hopefully you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys have planned or if you are forever alone like me, leave a comment down below and let me know what your worst date was that you've ever been on. Mm. I will see you guys next time. Bye.